Okay, let me be honest with you. So I'm working in my game engine and I have here particle system. You can populate a bunch of particles with some boring cubes. We can add gravity to it and stuff like that and my cubes exploded away. But let's do something different. I can change the mesh, for example, to this character that I, that I was working on. So let me put here in the, the mesh this character it's a little bit boring under the ground but well now we have a mesh and i can and by the way new feature here i'm not gonna show this just yet but i'm already showing everything i'll have thumbnails which is amazing okay let me go to my materials and select my um, paper box guy material i is a bit weird but it's okay well this is not what i'm i'm here to show you guys because you can to the, this is and again this is a particle component are you seeing here particle what you can do and it's so good is that you can actually put uh, animation in a particle system so if you go here to the armature you can select an armature for this and if you go to animation you can actually select an animation so let me make this guy run and now if you see i have a thousand animated characters here uh using particle system and well this is like it costs nothing well it costs a bit of course but well, a, a thousand animated characters uh, in this scene using particle system. This is literally particle system. And of course, I can increase this. Let me put 10,000. Here we go. Now my computer is struggling, struggling a little bit, but well, I have, I have 10,000 animated characters, which is amazing. Let me drop down to 2,000. I think that's enough. Okay. And of course, I can do all sorts of crazy stuff with, with, this, uh, with these guys. Uh, I can like make them spawn and despawn, make it here. Now I have a bunch of weird stuff happening. But take a look at that, this is so cool. But well, this is not the main stuff that I've been working on. Because what I did here is that like by default, you can select a spawn area, the particles. And it was like a, a box that you can define with these three variables. But now you can put actually uh, actual meshes uh, as a spawner. So nothing prevents you from spawning moving characters inside a moving a <laughs> moving character so this is a character uh, moving by the way particle system so I can move this around let me reset the particle system so it's a little bit more pleasant to work so I'm literally defining a mesh for the particle to spawn and of course this is a weird uh, case but I can remove the animation of this object and I can uh, let me actually change this to, to a cube to a very boring cube so I'll go to my meshes and I will select the default cube here. Here we go. So now I'm spawning a bunch of default cubes. Let me actually spawn a bunch of coins because coins are fun and I have coins. So my object, my animated character, oh, it's not animated by the way, it doesn't support animations, but still my character I now have a bunch of coins. And if I put the badass coin material, all the coins are glowing and I can, for example, increase the number of particles. So 100,000, uh, 10,000 particles, here we go. And I have particles uh, being spawned in this character, which is super good. Uh, I can, for example, change this object to, let's say uh, a cube. So let me make the default cube here. And let me spawn those particles, those coins in the cube instead. So I'm gonna grab the cube mesh and put here in the spawn. And now my particles are being spawned inside this cube. That's amazing, folks. <laughs> I'm excited, man. I'm very excited. Uh, if I remember correctly, I can select this emitter here. And by the way, uh, well, it is not going to move with the, with the object. But if I put some life uh, on it, let me reset. They will end up moving. Oh my god, my objects are all walking inside the lava now that's bad <laughs> but anyways let me change that to a cube actually default cube i have 2000 particle objects walking randomly in the surface of this random cube it can be any object you want just like here you can do anything you want and that's amazing that's super good i'm very excited uh let me go back to the plane but again this is well, it wasn't supposed to be a devlog, but I got excited, folks, and I, I, I need to share to share this with you because it's so good. Oh no, I forgot. This is paper box guy and particles. Here we go. Now I have my bunch of bunch of characters again. The rotation is wrong, by the way. Let me reduce this. 
maybe I need to rotate this in the y-axis, 90 degrees. I mean, reset the particle system. No, negative 90. Reset the particles. Here you go. Now it's working. But again, folks, that's amazing. And this is a quick devlog. And I wanted to show this to you. Leave in the comments what you think. And if you're not in my Discord, and if you want to suggest stuff to this engine, uh, feel free to do it so, because it's so good. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I see you in the next video. Thank you.